something that was coming to my mind is that for some people that might be listening, they might say, oh, but children don't know. Uh, children don't know about many things. The world is very complex. Actually, this happened, um, I don't know if it was at the UN or a meeting where Greta Thunberg was presenting and talking about the importance of climate change. And then a prime minister said, she's just a child. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Climate change is too complex for her to understand or what we need to do. We'll go ahead with our policies, which actually are doing nothing against climate change. So I'm curious about the problem solving that happens in the children's parliaments, uh, about how they make decisions, how they inform themselves about the topics that they want to uh, work on and change. Yes. So uh, everybody uh, like will be the, in the uh, same perspective or in the same ideology of children or the future citizens. But in children's parliament, they realize that they are the you know active and alive the participants present. of the existing society, and they have mm -hmm. uh, like their responsibilities and their rights to be heard. For example, any problem in the world, any problem in the world, if it arises, children will be the most affected people. Like if there is drought or flood or famine, whatever it may be. Here, uh, to put simply, children have the maturity to decide their life. They decide how, like in which path they can go on, and they decide what are the uh, no topic or uh, syllabus to be studied. And they have their own mindset and ideology and the maturity to lead their life. And why can't the you know rest of the governance process? If they want to do something, children know, uh, like, if, if they have pain, they only know that uh, in which part they are just paining off. And then they will be, you know, uh, they can take and go for treatment. So, like the same, if children have a problem, and there will be the people to represent uh, that things in the international or in a globalized context. So uh, we cannot say child as a like, you know, you are a child, you can, you don't have any voice to be you no know, heard in the national sectors and international sectors like that. Because as it is a democratic and a republican uh, world where people's voice to be heard. And these children are not only the future citizens, but an active and alive present participants of the governance and uh, even greater and uh, in children's parliament, a 13 years old girl some years ago called Swada Lakshmi, uh, she represented Indian children's parliament in the United Nations. She talked about child marriage and uh, she came back to India. But the impact she created there, she talked about child marriage and child rights. And she added a beautiful thing that uh, at children's parliament as part of the United Nations and we can uh, transform this world massively. She came back to India. But the panel was impressed. And she got the second invitation. And again, she got the third invitation. So she addressed the thrice. And she uh, continuously represented uh, the Indian Children's Parliament. And uh, she, ref uh, the, she referred the same thing as to adding Children's Parliament as part of the UN. And beautiful things happened like those words, you know, uh, started grabbing the international attention from many, many countries. And mm -hmm. uh, many administrations are not just giving uh, an opportunity to solve children's problem or they are not letting their children to play a key role in the governance process. That starts from family. Because uh, mm -hmm. family is a big institution which is to be taken care of. Because in families, whenever uh, a child is just coming to say something, they just stop that. You're a child. Uh, you are not uh, no, that mature to uh, like say a word in this topic or in this conversation. Parliament, let them talk about anything they want. And once they, they talk about anything they want and anything they like, you know, like, and they can represent the you know, hierarchical pattern. So when they do this, the world will understand that children parliaments can be able to make transformations and they can make and produce a good uh, globalized human uh, or globalized children citizens these children's parliament so always it will be in small in size we focus on smallness and then a numerical uniformity mm -hmm. in this numerical uniformity like whatever the level may be whether it is a neighborhood parliament or a state level parliament and the a national level parliament, the numerical uniformity will be there. And then we have convergence, 
we have some subdivision units and we have uh, subsidiarity so this subsidiarity means like we have many many subgroups like uh, one group and under that one group we have some couple of groups forming and under that group on um, those groups we have uh, like multiple groups under them like this the chain reaction will be happening till the global level and then we have recalling option you cannot see this recalling option in any country's you know uh, democratic or republican pattern because when you are not satisfied with a person's job or when the person is not ready to take up that job anymore you can recall them and then elect as a new person to that place so this is a uh, and the election is also a kind of a beautiful system like we follow sociocratic election in that there will not be any kind of nominations we will not use any opposition parties but these children will come together and they select their own leaders after accepting after 100% understanding the roles and responsibility with 0% you know objection they select their own leaders and they work together so that's why uh, they just give consent to all the i mean of the objections and once all the objections are solved then only they elect a single person and the elected person is a nominate i mean a nominated person or a representative of the entire team so this children are just acting as uh, diplomats <laughs> yeah i really like sociocracy in, in that part that it's is is willing for consent like everyone is willing to try it doesn't mean that everybody is like super happy about it or really bad about it but everybody is in that zone of tolerance and mm -hmm. that that it that gives a lot of uh, opportunities to to keep changing and moving to see what works for everyone and what mm -hmm. makes everyone to be more or less yeah. happy yeah and i love that recalling option that you mentioned that uh, that you know within the socio because sociocracy involves lots of very hands on decision making as you said the groups needs to be smaller but then for higher decisions kind of a representative will go to the higher circle or a circle that represents more people but then that person really needs to represent the the smaller unit so if they don't the unit can say no you don't represent us anymore wouldn't be amazing if politics would go <laughs> in this way i mean it would just it would actually work rather than being complaining all the time about politics not working at all because those people would be really responsible for their actions and and the community that they are representing there because they had really deep conversations and discussions about it mm -hmm. um, we'll have another role if that was the case absolutely <laughs> I mean, it's just different sense of responsibility consciousness connection with the rest of the community Uh, even awareness about your own, the way that you communicate or how good you are listening to others or not there's just so much development development personal development that i see that mm -hmm. is happening already in the in the children's parliament that's amazing how how much it has spread and for there is also i think another point that i think is super important and maybe um, it doesn't come so clear but the fact that the, the like One, one sentence that uh, a guy from from Colombia said was like um, childhood is not a waiting room and yeah the fact that children can take responsibility and action in the present that also allows to live and enjoy the present not be thinking always forward to the future but they are they, they are they are experiencing and being mindful of their lives at the present without willing to to reach the future or because then is when they are going to supposed to live or have something exciting and that i think that this this possibility to to take control of their present is essential to to be a to live a fulfilling life mm -hmm. 